Okay, today is Monday, March 27th, and tomorrow we're going on a little excursion to the Everglades uh, in southern Florida. Um, it's an area where there's um, a lot of um, alligator activity, and so we've been told um, it's the alligator mating season, and they're apparently prone to flap their tails and uh, make this barking noise. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a little look at the map and we'll show everyone where the route that we'll be taking. We're going to be just uh, staying away from this campsite uh, one night. We'll be leaving our caravan behind us here and we've got our tent in the back of the truck. So we're going to be staying at a state park near a place called Naples uh, in southern Florida overnight. Uh, the weather is meant to be very good. It's meant to be uh, 29, 30, 31 degrees. So we'll see how it goes. So here we have a map of southern Florida. Uh, you can see uh, Lake Okeechobee where we were filming a few days ago. And we are currently just here. So we'll be heading out to the coast to West Palm Beach. And we'll be taking the Interstate 95 south into Miami. And from Miami we'll be getting on to Route 41 which is called, it's nicknamed Alligator Alley and uh, we'll be uh, traversing all of the way through Alligator Alley uh, where we hope to get some good drone footage of the alligators and then we'll be staying the night in a uh, state park here near Naples and then on Wednesday we'll be returning here, we'll be heading up to Fort Myers which was hit uh, very badly by the hurricane uh, last September and then we'll be coming a little bit further north and then heading back on through uh, the sugar plantations uh, back to our campground via Lake Okeechobee again so that's about it so let's see how it goes tomorrow Hi all. today we are in uh, South Florida and we're just uh, about to go into Big Cypress uh, National Preserve. So we're just on the outskirts of that. We're not allowed to fly the drone in that uh, preserve. So we're going to start outside here. In the background, you can see an alligator. It's the first one we've seen. I've been spotting them all the way along the 41. So anyways, um, yeah, so um, the mangroves you can see the mangroves in in back there this whole area is like 730,000 of swampland and the number 41 just uh, cuts through it to the Gulf of Mexico at Naples so uh, follow us along in our journey
took a, a little causeway out to this island. It is just so cool out here. Um, it almost reminds me of probably Key West before it's uh, got developed into a big touristy area. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. You can uh, we probably you can see from uh, the surroundings that everything's built up high uh, for the hurricane season and the wet season when it arrives. It's uh, got a lovely breeze, very tropical, very like in the Caribbean. Um, so, anyways, Neil's going to do a little scan around and uh, give you a look. Park. We're, uh, we're at the edge of uh, the 41, just as you go into uh, Naples on the Gulf of Mexico side of Florida. We came across the 41 and it's Alligator Alley. It's the original uh, highway that was built back in the early 1900s to connect Miami to the Gulf Coast. Uh, so anyways, it was a great trip over, we've seen lots of alligators, so we're just settled into the state park and we have set up our tent. It's warm, it's 30 degrees, the view here is nothing but these beautiful palm trees which this park is quite famous for, I guess this is just its natural habitat. It's the, the royal palm, uh, we'll show you some as we go around the park. There's also lots of little interesting features which we will uh, do some video on as we walk around. This is the only existing Bay City Walking Dredger from the 1920s. It resides here at Collier Seminole State Park, which is near Naples in southwestern Florida. The dredger was used in the 1920s when the, uh, the Route 41 was constructed across southern Florida. we are right here uh, Collier Seminole State Park so today we've come down the I-95 to Miami across Route 14 here and now we're in the State Park. This in the middle here is a little bit which explains how the uh, the watershed gets from Lake Okeechobee out to the sea and it sort of filters through the Everglades. It takes about a year for the water to uh, get from the lake out to the, out to the coast.
Okay, here we are. Uh, walking through the park, we stumbled upon this little uh, Indian village, which we had seen frequently across the 41 today. And uh, the Seminole Indians in South Florida built many of these villages along the, uh, the trail or the 41 uh, in the early 1900s. And apparently, it says here, they sold crops and rustled alligators for visitors as a source of income. This way they could preserve their traditional way of life and earn a living at the same time. So, here we are. We, they even have a little village here right in the park. There's a lovely mural here in behind the canoe, just depicting the uh, the Indians' way of life in the old days. Here we are. We just stumbled upon this great little trail. It's the Royal Palm Hammock Trail. And apparently the, the Royal Palm, which is the grand, grandest of palm trees, grows wild here in this area. Um, and also what grows wild here is mahogany. And apparently it has been sought after from uh, the early, early, early days by the Europeans to make their mahogany furniture, which was exported. Um, so anyways, we're going to take a walk back and you're going to see some of these uh, majestic uh, royal palm trees and the uh, beautiful uh, mahogany trees. Okay. You can always tell the uh, mahogany tree apparently in wet weather because the, uh, the, the trunk goes black and you can just see the black at the bottom there. Okay, today is Wednesday the 29th of March and we're on Sanibel Island. We've just driven up uh, through uh, Naples and uh, Fort Myers and uh, we've seen the devastation that uh, 
was made by Hurricane Ian last September. Six months later, everything's still, you know, a lot of everything is not rebuilt. Uh, and now we're on Sanibel Island, which uh, has uh, received the brunt of the storm last year. So we're just going to uh, get the drone up and have a little uh, fly around and see what we can see. Hi, well, this is the last of video in our Florida series. I'd like to thank everyone who's been following our adventures. Uh, we've had an absolutely great time, seen lots of interesting places, and we'll be heading back to, uh, to Canada in, within the next week. And uh, so stand by for the next adventure, which should be uh, during the summer.